Good morning, Modern Steaders. 28 degrees out this morning. Feels like we're going backwards in time. And I don't think I locked up New York City last night, guys. Oh, nope. They're all accounted for, though. I even see moose. I don't know if it's, it doesn't feel like springtime yet and they're out or if it's because I'm a creature of habit and all winter long I haven't been letting them out so I forget that I gotta lock them up at night. Let's see, are we still frozen? Oh, crack that. Break the ice up a bit. There we go. Figaro, are you on the prowl? Come on, Pluto. <sighs> I'm glad nothing got the chickens. That's the great thing about having the Premier One fencing. <sighs> it's another barrier to keep the predators away. Come on, Pluto. So if you forget to lock up the chickens like I do, did, we're not gonna make that a habit. We have another layer. Come on. The cars are nice and frosty this morning. I have to run those and get the windshields defrosted. Have a good day at school. It's supposed to warm up today. Love you. Good morning, chickens. What are you up to? I think you want to cause trouble with Tanner. <sighs> Those two are crazy. That cat's always trying to get Tanner in trouble. <laughs> I will say though, Figaro doing stuff like that to Tanner outside is helping us train him to getting him to listen. We leave that long rope leash on him so that way if he decides to take off we can step on it and stop him, call his name, and get him used to the coming while he's distracted trying to chase an animal. I gotta run into town first thing, so I can't let Hope out with the big girls right away. So she probably won't like that, but today's supposed to be 66 and sunny. So when I get back, we'll let her out and she'll have a blast. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun seeing her out with the big goats in nice weather. We haven't had those two combinations yet. The goats must know it's nice out. They want out. Good morning, girl. You feel that sunshine? Hope's got to stay in for the morning. You girls probably aren't too disappointed, are you? I can let you out in the barn for a few minutes. <laughs> While I finish getting all the feed ready. It's going to be nice out this afternoon, Hope. And we'll let you out when I get back in a little bit. Here, I'll get it out of the bag for you. Right there, ready? No, no, not the bag. Chef. <laughs> Hope, right there's your chef egg. <sighs> when I get back, I'll let you out. And it's gonna be sunny. Figaro, what do you think you're doing in here, huh? Come on. I know. Enjoy that sunshine. Hope will be out in a little bit. Just like that, we're back to let Hope out. She's gonna love it. Look at that sun, guys. Huh. One day of sun, <laughs> and then we're gonna be cloudy and rainy again for I think th three to four days, so. Uh, I hope the goats enjoy today. Hope, we're gonna let you out. And it's nice outside. Come on out. Quick. There you go.
You tell him, Hope. You tell him who's boss. Go ahead, tell him. Say, I'm the boss. You're gonna be running this herd before they know it, huh, Hope? Come on outside, it's nice out here. There you go. Go right in the feeder, there you go. Okay, Hope, you let him know who the herd boss is. Keep that up, you'll be running the herd before you know it. I'll keep an eye on you from a distance. You know what I haven't made in a while? Our no need artisan bread. I'm gonna put a link right here to the recipe we have on our website. It's a really simple recipe. You're gonna need three cups all-purpose flour. You're gonna use an active dry yeast. If you have eight to 12 hours to let the dough rise, use one teaspoon. If you don't have eight to 12 hours, use one and a half teaspoons. I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of salt. We're using Himalayan salt. You can use regular table salt. I want the dough to be coarse, kind of like a cookie dough. Right now it's a little too wet, so I'm gonna add in a little bit more flour until I like the consistency. I'm gonna let this rise until it doubles in size now. I wanna flour my bread basket. It'll all covered in flour so my bread doesn't stick to it. I'm gonna let it proof in here again until it's doubled in size, and then we'll cook it up. I can't tell if Hope's got her foot stuck in that slat that I never fixed on Goat Mountain or not, so we're gonna check and fix it. You just making lots of noise? Oh, your foot is your foot stuck? What are you doing? Is your foot stuck? No, your foot's not stuck. You're just being a goat. You're enjoying being out here with the girls. That's the slide I need to fix. Watch out. There, we don't gotta worry about that one now. While I have it out, I gotta fix your feeder. Watch out. All right, next time I come back out, I'll have to bring you out some seaweed. Maybe another screw or two to put in there since you're gonna climb in it. Yeah. I wanna get this modified up. We won't glue it yet, but I want to like to get everything cut. Go get a trial run going. So we're gonna have that piece in. Next, I think we'll do a shut off. So I just need a short nipple. I've never used one of those hand cutters for the PVC pipe. I might have to try to get one. If you have, they work good. Leave it in the comments down below. Are they worth the money? My guess is they're probably 20 to 30 bucks, but I don't know. Union in so I can take everything apart. I had to push the barrel in more that way because I want to be able to come off over in here with a piece going this way so we can put a water nipple inside the shelter too. So one, two,
Oh, we can have one going this way. Then we can have this coming out and down. All right, so I want to come over and down here. There we go. Got to figure out the height I want off of the ground for the nipple. Now we're gonna have to build up some protection for this pipe system, but this is gonna be worth it in the end to have an automatic watering system that's rainwater collection system for the pigs. This nipple system for pigs works so nice. If you have pigs water in a dish, they're always knocking the dish over and you're just constantly chasing your tail but trying to keep them watered. So if we go. this like so I like it so now we want to come over here the shut off seems like even when I buy extra parts and pieces I add on to the design so I'm short again I need one more 90 I want to come over with this one and then go up a little bit and then in the wall I don't want another nippler this low to the ground in there that'll be too low to the ground for the pigs so I'll put in the shut off today and then later on we'll add this piece Hold up, we might be able to remedy this problem. Can we go up and then up and then over? Yeah, we can do that. Now I know by going up, if our water barrel is below whatever this mark is, we won't be able to get water to it. But for a majority of the time, we'll be able to use this. That's what it's gonna look like. I gotta cut in my valve so I can have a shut off just in case they break this valve off. We don't lose all the water. Now we take it all apart and then put it together, clean all the joints and glue them. Take those out. I wanna put some nylon thread tape on this fitting. When you put the tape on, you want to go the same directions as the thread because if you don't, when you tighten it up, it'll un undo the tape. If you have it going the same direction, it keeps it on there. I was told that a time or two before it sunk in. <laughs> our cleaner. We don't need that much glue, that's for sure. Not 100% sure how old this glue is, but I could not see buying new glue for this small project. Let's put this back together. Clean 
everything up. This glue's kind of thick. I think it's getting past the expiration date. heavy duty on the straps just because it is pigs that are going to be using this and just like that the pasture pig mobile has plumbing <sighs> The stainless steel pig watering nipples that we're using are from coopsandmore.com. I'll put a link in the description down below to the website. If you use promo code LUMNA, you'll get 10% off your order. Again, on these, I'm going to cover them with thread tape. We got the gutter system all tied in to the 55 gallon drum. In the next day or two, it's supposed to rain. So we'll be able to test it out. We'll let the bucket fill up. And then we can try this all out. Once we know that it's working well, we'll build some sort of wall system to block the piping off so we don't have to worry about it getting broken. Not sure if you'll be able to see Hope. Oh, Willow just got her up. But Hope was sunbathing out there until Willow disturbed her. Willow's like, uh, I'm Queen Bee. All right, we've had this proofing in our proofing basket for quite a while. Look at that. That looks delicious. I'm going to put a little bit of flour in our Dutch oven. Don't want the bread to stick. Looks beautiful. Can't wait to see it all baked up. I'm gonna bake it for a half hour. Did you see the pig mobile's got plumbing now? Look at that. Now we just need rain for some water. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get that, so. We are gonna get it, I know. Hope's been outside all day with the big girls. Yeah. What do you think? She's at, she's at the hay feeder. She is at the hay feeder. She says, Livia! Livia! Help! Livia! Help! Help! She says, Help! I need more hay. Yeah, that's a good one. All the frost coming out. That one. Hope a dope. What are you doing? Did you have a fun day outside all day? Nice and sunny. The girls treating you good. I got this one. Yeah. You getting stuck in the mud? No, I'm trying. Oh. Hey, that's my sweatshirt. That's not food. That's not food. What are you doing, Willow? It's be a good day to have babies. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta stay down. You've been playing good with Hope all day? Hey, you got something stuck in your teeth. 
You got something stuck in your teeth. Want back? You like having a new buddy out here with you? You should. You should, girl. Oh, over here deep. Hope you don't even care that we're out here, really, do you? You like being able to be in the hay feeder all day long, huh? Don't fall in. <laughs> oh. uh, and I didn't. But I'm going to have to take a shower in this. Could be a mud bath with goat turds in it. <laughs> there is goat turds everywhere. <sighs> All right, girls, behave. <sighs> Look at all that grass. So beautiful. What do you girls think of all the grass? Mucifer, you like this weather? Thank you, ladies. <sighs> you can finally see our barn. Oh. Here they come. You can finally see the barn from this side. All the snow banks have melted. I can't wait till we can start building the kit. It's gonna be so much fun. In a couple of weeks, we're gonna be going and doing a factory tour of the company that made the barn kit. That's gonna be exciting. I can't wait to see that. Smells like dirt or mud. What are you girls doing? Hope, you're out. Noisy, noisy, you two. Oh, now three of you are doing it. Oh, that one she saw. Hi, Hope. What do you think, Hope? Oh, I guess she got to pee. Yep, she's got to pee now. <laughs> what do you think, Willow? She's super big. Yeah. No. I hope you have at least two in there. You have at least two in there? I two babies so. would be nice. <laughs> You're making friends hope. hope. I gotta get into a better habit now with locking up New York City at night. It's been probably what the last five months or so they've been locked up, so I haven't had to go that. out and lock them back up at night. I gotta make sure I do that. I don't wanna lose any of our chickens. So today's video was a good reminder. Hope is doing awesome with the girls. I'm excited to see them interacting more. So I think within the next week or so, they should be able to be out there full time. Hope should be able to be out there full time with the goat, which is exciting. I'm not looking forward to rain for the mud or making more mud here in the homestead, but I am excited for it to fill up the rainwater collection system and to see how that all works out. With the pasture pig mobile, it's gonna be so nice to have that water already on the pig mobile and I'm not gonna to have to bring water out to them and we can move it all over the property. It's totally gonna change everything. So hope you guys have a great Easter. If you're watching this video the day it goes live, 
Thanks for coming along on our homestead journey with us, guys, as we build it here. You are a huge blessing to us and our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.